Hi team British Ants, it's Sean here, just giving you an update on our Atta Colony. Uh, we've had this for a number of years now. Uh, it was at one point, long before the house move, the largest private colony. We've noticed a steady decline in the cutting of the leaves um, and the fungus garden productions. So we've been moving them around, we've tried hydrating, and um, we've increased the temperatures of the heat. Um, so we thought today that we'd pull it apart and find out what's going wrong. Um, so here we are, it's one of the gardens, you see it's shrunk in size. We've recently hydrated it so we've added a little bit of extra water in there for the clay balls. Um, that still doesn't hasn't kind of kick-started them. Sometimes uh, you can take an old garden, break it up and they will actually kind of invigorate them to uh, get gardening again. But uh, on this occasion I don't think that's going to happen. You'll see that most of the fungus is white, which is um, very healthy. Um, but with all fungus gardens, there should always be another layer. So it should go from almost yellow at the bottom to white, and then be grey on top where they're constantly adding new stuff. So this is the new tank we set up. Uh, we've put plaster in here, which is a very good medium. Um, we've tipped it up slightly so that when it's laid flat, any excess moisture will come towards the front of the tank and away from the fungus, which is quite key really. Um, there's the little walkways that we've kind of put in there. Um, that's done quite well. So here we are. We've relocated to uh, the kitchen because there's a lot more space in here. And uh, we're just taking the, the lid off. The temperatures were spot on. and The humidity was spot on with the, the old tank. We just rest that down. And then we have a pier in. You see it's completely white. That's the fungus looking as it should do, really. It's very healthy. But the, the, the problem there is that there's no grey on it, so they're not adding new um, material to it. That's a section that we took out for testing um, at the very top. And we've added that to the new tank. You can see most of it is kind of orange uh, when broken up, which means it's uh, almost on its way to the bin. Uh, the ants will take that to the, the tip themselves. But that's the fungus. It's very healthy. Uh, but you'll see in the top right hand corner there's a, a slight A patch. Now really, all the fungus should be covered in that because it means they're adding new stuff. Um, there's a hell of a lot of soldiers in here. Um, and this is where you start to notice the problems. Uh, you can count, or I, I mean there must have been about 120 soldiers in there and they've literally just sat there, whereas they should be running up the tank and attacking me. And you can see here where we've broken up the fungus looking for the queen. Uh, I haven't seen the queen for three and a half years. Um, we couldn't find the, fungus, uh, the queen in the fungus, um, so we're now moving on to their waste area. This is where they put all the stuff that they don't want. And they turn this over like a compost heap. You can see there the, the slight sandy coloured bits of fungus, that's recently what they've added. And they'll turn this over, a few leaves in there that they didn't want. Um, so we went through that, couldn't find the queen in there either. Um, we've cleaned that tank out and we've put a bit of the um, waste back in there so that they identify that as their uh, waste area. Um, but it is unfortunate that we couldn't find the queen. So that can only mean one thing. And, and that is that we've lost the queen. Um, looking at the colony, we've pulled the fungus apart. There's no brood in there whatsoever. Uh, when we open that fungus up, it should be absolutely heaving. I mean, it should be almost pearlized white internally. Um, and there should be hundreds of thousands of eggs. Um, as such, there's nothing in the fungus at all. The, um, the workers, are they've given up cutting. The soldiers have given up guarding. They just kind of sit around little groups chatting to each other. Uh, the colony featured now is um, one of the ones we've got for sale. I was testing out some camera work on earlier in the week. Um, but it's quite sad, uh, really, because I've had this colony for quite a few years. It did get scarily large at one point, 
Um, but these things happen. Um, and I like to think that, you know, in the time that we've had her, and she's travelled halfway across the world to get to to us, and she's had a fairly good life, to be fair. Um, she's been given the right climate. She's had choice of wonderful foods. She's done very well producing uh, a sizable colony. Um, and in her native environment, um, she would have actually been extinguished. So we've kind of extended her life, and these are the things that we all have to deal with. So we've now set the colony up. Um, we've offered them some food uh, or some greenery to add to the the fungus, but um, we'll see a sharp decline now. Um, the fungus gardens aren't being cared for anymore, so it's uh, goodbye Atta and uh, night night Queen Elizabeth. <laughs>